Hello guys, I'm Annie from Smart Herd. Welcome to our video on Recycler View and Card View implementation. In the previous video, we have already proceeded a long way towards implementing the Recycler View and the Card View. The steps we are done with is creating the list item layout. We have added the Recycler View to the activity main.xml. We have created the data model that will be fed to the Recycler View. We have created the custom adapter for the Recycler View. Now what we need to do is the last step to link the custom adapter to our Recycler View. Let us move to Android Studio and link our custom adapter to the Recycler View. Before proceeding towards linking our custom adapter to the Recycler View, let me cover up a point that I had missed in the previous video. In our custom adapter, in myadapter.java, the get item count will return the size of the list of our recycler view. So instead of return zero, we need to return the object list dot size. So we are done with the myadapter.java. In main activity.java, let us write the code for linking the recycler view with the custom adapter. So here I have written the codes for linking the recycler view to the custom adapter. Let me explain the code that I have written here. Here I have initialized the recycler view variable where this recycler view is the ID of the recycler view that I have defined in activity main.xml. Next what I have done is I have defined the instance of my adapter which has two parameters. One is the context which is main activity.java and then the object list of the nature model. This method get object list is the one which we have already seen in the nature model class. This object list will return the array of the data list which will have the list of the nature model items. Next I have set the adapter for the recycler view as this adapter. So we are done with the part of linking the adapter with the recycler view. But this is not enough. We also need to link the layout manager for the recycler view with it. For doing that, I have defined the linear layout manager as layout manager and pass the context of this. We can also have the grid layout manager, the staggered grid layout manager. But for our demo application, we are learning the linear layout manager. I have set the orientation of the layout manager as vertical. The orientation of the linear layout manager can be horizontal as well. But we have created the vertical layout for our list item. So we will be keeping the orientation as vertical here. Then I have set the layout manager for the recycler view as this layout manager. While explaining the recycler view, I had said that the recycler view provides us with certain default animations. The use of this default animation we will be looking while we learn the adding and deleting the item which we will be learning in the upcoming videos. So here we are good to go. We have set the adapter for the recycler view and also the layout manager for the recycler view. So we are done with all the five steps of implementing the recycler view with the card view in our application. Now let us run our application and see what happens. So we are getting an error while we run the recycler view and card view application in our Android device. Let's debug what have we missed. Here it is. There is the null pointer exception which says the get title method is called on a null object reference. We have the error in my adapter Java line number 57. Let's move to it and see what, hap what have we missed. Line number 57. We have called the get title for the current object. But here the object is current. So this current object will be this variable. Let us change it to current object. And now we are good to go. We are calling the getTitle method with reference to this current object instance of the nature model class. And then we have defined this field variable of current object to this current object. Now let us run our application and see what happens. 
and here is our application up and running. We can see our beautiful recycler view and the card view being implemented in our Android application. So this is the image view. This is the description or we can see the title that we have set. And these are the two icons for delete and copy. Now on scrolling upwards, we can see the recycler view working perfectly for us. So we have successfully implemented recycler view in the card view in our application. In the next video, we will be performing addition and deletion operation for the items in the recycler view. Stay tuned for the upcoming video. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Keep smiling and have a good day.